from Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. And if it's your first time, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are filming in my mini laundry room today. So just to give you guys some perspective, this is the main door that we kind of use. Our garage is out that way. So this walkway here gets a lot of space. We see it all the time, see it every single day. I'm over the plain look, and you guys know we've been kind of updating things all throughout the house. After doing the kitchen renovation, I fell in love with the backsplash subway tile that we use, and that really is what kind of inspired the whole idea for today's video, which is going to be a mini laundry room makeover. So my idea, which will be executed by my husband Daniel, as you guys already know, but I want to do the back of the wall here all in that subway tile. I want to add some uh, wooden shelving and then really just use it for storage and things like that. So I'm hoping that the vision can come to life. Um, there's also a closet on this side that you guys can't really see, but also hoping to add in some wooden shelves to kind of match and add more storage for us. So when we do our big runs at Costco, we have somewhere to put all of our things. So without further ado, we will go ahead and jump right in. So here's the game plan. We're going to add our peel and stick backsplash. Then we're going to move this shelf up a little bit so we can add two more shelves right above the washer and dryer. With the additional two shelves, we have way more space to store our stuff. And off we go. We're going to start off with cutting our wood for our shelves. I bought some two by fours at Home Depot and I had some leftover plywood from when we did our grid mirror video. If you haven't seen that already, I'll drop the link right now. The plywood is gonna be for the top of the shelves. So we're going to have two of the same size shelves in the closet and two different size shelves above the washer and dryer. After we finish cutting, we're gonna do a little bit of sanding. And yes, this is me in real time. To achieve the stain that we wanted, we ended up combining weathered oak and special walnut. After some trial and error and a little bit of luck, we found the ratio that we loved. It actually complemented our backsplash perfectly and it was a go. I wanted to keep the shelf simple, but also strong enough to hold our detergents, our bleach, our softeners, anything extra we get from you know, Costco's or BJ's. I decided to make some pocket holes so that way I can hide the screws. So the two by fours that I put pocket holes are the two sides and then the one in the middle. Assembling the shelf was pretty simple. You know, you have your front, you have your back, you have your two sides, and then I had one supporting two by four in the middle. When installing your shelf, make sure you use your leveler and a stud finder. Um, also some long screws as well. Once you feel that the shelf is nice and sturdy, you can go ahead and grab your plywood. I end up using a nail gun to secure the plywood down. At the last minute, we decided to put up a pole so we could hang things off of. It ended up being wooden so we can stain it. Now to our laundry room. Our first shelf, we wanted to come out as far as the washer and dryer and right above it. Once we put up our first shelf, we can go ahead and stop using the peel and stick tile. If this looks familiar, it's because you've probably seen it in our kitchen reno video. We love it so much that we decided to use it here as well. After laying down our first row of peel and stick tile, we're going to go ahead and put up our second shelf. This shelf comes out further than our first one that we put up. That way we get a little extra space. Once that second shelf is secured, we can go ahead and continue to lay down our peel and stick tile. The good thing about the peel and stick tile is that it's really sticky. Also, the bad thing about it is that it's really sticky. So if you make a mistake, it's you have to peel off a little bit and sometimes the paint comes off and just not as sticky as you want it to be. So try not to make mistakes. We wanted to reuse the shelf that was originally there, but we kind of want to dress it up just a little bit. We put some plywood on top of the shelf, but we decided to add a swinging element to it. That way we can hide as much of the shelf as possible, but still hang things off of it. Bring your two pieces of plywood together and mark where you want to drill your holes. I found some hinges at Home Depot and I had some nuts and bolts previously from another project. I installed three hinges, two on the ends and one in the middle, so that way it give nice balance. And this is how it will look when it's all said and done. So with the swing, it gives me access to hang things if I need to, and if not, I can just hide it. No laundry room is complete without a sign that's saying laundry. Here's a trick to put up a sign fast and easy. So what you're gonna do is grab either some tape or masking tape. I prefer the masking tape because it's easy to come off. So you're gonna place your masking tape over where the sign will be hung. You're gonna mark where the screw or nail is gonna be placed on the wall. 
Once you mark those, you can peel the tape off, you have a perfect measurement. Just make sure that you use a leveler when you're placing on the wall so that way it's even when you hang it up. Now time to style my new shelves. As mentioned, we are both avid shoppers at Costco and BJ's. Yes, we have both, do not judge. So we really are just now going to stock the shelves with a bunch of stuff that we had in the closet. I got these baskets at Big Lots. I loved that they came with a few different sizes and the style definitely matched with this little theme that we have going on. While I didn't go super crazy finding new containers for everything that I had, I did pick a few. I went to Home Goods and I got these glass containers to put some of our detergent in. So we did decide to swap out some of those boxes. Overall, I am in love with how this turned out. I think for me, a DIY is perfect when style can meet functionality somewhere in the middle. Um, this is gonna work perfect for us and give us so much more space as we prepare for baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you guys in the next one.